I'm Dave Ferris. We're at the Uncos Hollinger Race Shop with an opportunity to catch up with IndyCar's Director of Aerodynamic Development, Antino Belli. And Antino, a lot of conversation about the aero screen, specifically coming out of the opening lap of the Firestone Grand Prix of St. Petersburg. A couple of main elements to it. We've got the screen itself from PPG and then Pankel's development of the frame, which it's amazing technology. How do they do that? So the top frame is made out of uh, titanium powder, 3D printed with a laser, which welds all the powder together. The size of the machine that you can print it in is uh, limited, so we have to make it in five pieces. Those pieces are uh, welded approximately here and approximately here into one continuous uh, frame which attaches back here to the base of the roll hoop which is a very strong uh, part of our race car. And then after it's all fabricated together, it has to be finally finished machined along these uh, places where we put the fastenings to uh, mount it to the tongue. The other part of it which is uh, very interesting is that we had to reinforce the cockpit rim with a, a very sophisticated uh, carbon fiber structure to mount the uh, top frame to here. And that structure in itself increased the torsional stiffness of the car by about 15%, which is a very, very significant increase. At the end of the day, how, how strong is the aero screen? The titanium top frame here can take 17 tons, which is uh, six Chevy Silverados of uh, weight on the top. And the structural reinforcement around the tub, um, we've never, since we've done this update, we've never ever broken this ring that goes around the driver here, which is really important for the teams because in a big accident, if we damage the car around any of the openings, it's not repairable, it's, uh, it's scrap. The protection goes well beyond the strength as well. There was a test early on involving a fire literally setting a torch to it. What was the findings out of that, Tino? Yeah, so we knew going into it that polycarbonate is uh, very good at resisting flame. And uh, we just wanted to find out after uh, Roman Grosjean's accident, how much protection it actually would give our drivers because everything that we do for our drivers buying time for the safety crew to get to the driver in the case of uh, a fire. So um, our safety crew, um, many of them are full-time full firemen. They came to the shop and they had blow torches and infrared cameras going on the thing. And they were trying to really burn it down and they were absolutely flabbergasted by the thermal resistance that it was giving, which they, they think will buy them minutes in time to get to the driver. And we normally talk in seconds. It's been a most amazing program. It's very high learning. We're moving into a new lightweight top frame for next year, which is going to not have any reduced strength. 3D printing allows you to tailor the thicknesses to where the stresses are and not put material where you don't need it. And we're also going to develop a lighter weight polycarbonate. We have done ballistic tests on the polycarbonate windscreen. Uh, we fire a two pound bullet at it at 220 miles an hour and it, it damages the surface and it doesn't penetrate the screen. We feel we can go lighter. We learn lessons from all the ballistic testing that we did. So the lightweight screen is going to incorporate all of those uh, updates and hopefully a little bit more uh, increased ventilation for the driver, which is a well-documented negative of, uh, <laughs> of the aero screen. But the evolution continues is what you're saying. Yeah. Yep, the next evolution, hopefully for next year, we're working flat on right now, and all the lessons that we've learned up to this date will be in that one.